I got a call from one of the leading Prevo people in the country saying, Doug, you really didn't do that coach any justice. Is there any mistakes that you see people making that maybe uh, viewers that are future Prevo owners can avoid? Let's talk to Jeff who can really shed some light on what this coach is all about. So we found Jeff Rowe at East Tennessee Luxury Coach. Jeff, how you doing today, sir? Good. Jeff, I've heard your name in the industry a long time. Uh, you're one of the Prevo experts in the industry. Can you tell us a little bit about what your background in the industry is? Uh, I started in the 90s with Buddy Greggs. Buddy Gregg used to be the exclusive dealers for Liberty, Royal Coach, and um, Country Coach Prevo. And so I started back in the 90s with them, and then uh, it's been all over and uh, working with Liberty back in the day as well, and then opening the shop here, and, and we do any conversion or uh, motorhome Prevo. Anything to do with the Prevo? You Anything. Doug and I made a video about this coach, and you saw that video, and it sounds like we missed a lot of stuff, and, and a lot of stuff about this coach we forgot to let the viewers know. Correct, yeah, there's a ton of things as far as the uh, actual coach itself, the chassis. We just put brand new tires on it. Uh, Prevo just did uh, A-arms and, and um, links underneath and the three axle alignment. This thing um, is like new underneath. It's got a few miles on it in the motorhome world, which is still nothing uh, on the Prevo chassis itself uh, as the entertainer buses uh, can contest that, that, that that's 90,000 miles for them a year is nothing. So it, it's really, really a good coach and build on that Prevo chassis. So longevity is there. What's some of the stuff going on in the house side of this coach? Right now then we're just uh, waiting for our detail guy to get in here and detail a few more things out of it. Remove the plastic that was on from new over the carpet just so people can get a glance at it. So um, you were saying that the plastic was there since new? That's what I've been told and I believe it uh, when I look at the center sections and obviously uh, around the edges and stuff then it's attracted dirt over the years. But it, it is a uh, light new carpet and um, we're getting ready to finish detailing some more on the inside of it. Uh, we've got a side window to replace that I was kind of waiting on uh, to get in before we do anything else in here. Otherwise, it's good neutral colors and is a good floor plan. A lot of options in it too, depending on how people are gonna use it. Some people love the two seats. Some people like the extra space up there with only one seat. Um, so there's uh, a ton of options in here, uh, depending on what you like and, and how you wanna use the coach. Yeah, let's walk through it a little bit here and uh... I pointed out in the other video, I really like this diamond stitching pattern on the wall there. This is like a new coach just taking that plastic off of the carpet here. Super high-end carpet. If someone didn't like this upholstery, which it's got a pretty cool look to it, but if for some reason they wanted to switch that upholstery, is that something you guys can do here? Yes, we can change it out to whatever uh, they like and and um, make whatever changes someone would want. Well, what about like countertops on the table? I thought this was pretty cool with the cracks marks coming out of this little mirror area here, but if someone did want to change that out, is that something you could help with or? Yeah, and this is um, very close, if not this same color is still available. Um, and so it could get changed out or you could go to a darker color, just depends on uh, what you really enjoy and like in the coach um, color wise so we can change a few things up and change the color scheme up and make it your own really really nice feeling this and I did mention too I'm not personally a fan of this chandelier here is that a how, how hard of a is that a real expensive thing to change that out or no that would be pretty easy uh, change it out and just have to make a different base um to to cover that wider base out do you like that all of the feather light glasses are here the feather light wine glasses sometimes folks have a little too much fun and leave one of those behind i actually have a buddy that has a feather light that was trying to replace those and couldn't get it done would you know where to replace those if someone needed to get the those feather light glasses replaced or? uh i'm not sure exactly where you would get those anymore cabinets are all in really good shape and i love the light blonde color wood uh, what's what else is going on in this coach, sir? Um, it's uh, everything's working. 
Uh, so uh, operationally, uh, all the air conditioners, the heaters, everything is functioning. And um, like you say, it's it's got a good uh, color cabinet in it and it fits well for whatever decor you do with the sofas and so forth as well. Really like this floor too. It's got a cool little pattern there. Could probably use a good detail, but um, if someone did want to change those floors or just something a little more modern, that's something you guys do here as well? Correct. You can change it over carpet. You can do a vinyl plank or you can go back with a tile. And is there anything that you would recommend if someone was going to buy this coach or if you were going to buy this coach personally and bring it into your shop to have repair work or, or, or upgrades done, is there anything that you would recommend? Uh, once again, it depends on how people are using it. And so we want them to use it for a little bit, typically speaking, first and make sure how they're going to use it because um, once you start upholstering one thing, then it can kind of snow out. And um, so make sure how they're going to use it and what they're going to do. And then we can change out, you know, the chandelier or something like that. It's easy anyhow um, to do beforehand. But otherwise, kind of make sure it's yours and what you're gonna enjoy doing with it. Same pattern like we saw in the on the dining room table. Now, I'm gonna just take a look back in this head here. Yeah, all in excellent condition overall. And this cabinet is a little bit lower. Do you know there's a reason that it's a little bit shorter than other bus conversions we see here? I don't know if it was initially just because of the, uh, the way the bowl is upright and so they went off the height uh, for the bowl itself instead of the countertop. Yeah, there's a sentry fireproof safe in there and a little bit of uh, wardrobe here. Backable washer and dryer in here. And same carpet that we saw. Now the plastic still is on this carpet, but I would expect it to be in excellent condition like we saw up front there. Closet typically in the back as as it does uh, with a drawer bank underneath um, all the way across and uh, a very different headboard um, that kind of follows suit with the table and the shower area. Yeah, I really like this headboard. And now is there a window back behind this or? I believe that's still got the window behind it and it's just covered. And then is this uh, an emergency egress window over here as well? Correct. Very cool, and then a nice little uh, desk area there. I say we take this coach for a test drive and uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about it. Okay. O2 Prevo Featherlight Double, double Slide. 240,000 miles, um, but it's been upgraded on everything about it. It has a total vision backup camera system in it, so the backup camera's been updated as well as, like I say, everything on the chassis. There's a look at that backup camera, huge rear view camera. Now, you were also mentioning the service. There's extensive service records for this coach. Right, so very rare will you find a coach, um, even a five-year-old coach that has all the records from day one. And this is what you get with this is a complete history on it from about day one. Definitely a lot of value in that. And there's different Prevos on the market and a Prevo that's been properly serviced is gonna hold a lot more value than a coach that's been neglected because if it if they don't keep up on maintenance, it's, it can, can get pretty expensive, so. Uh, sometimes people say things have been done and then until you actually have the proof with the invoices and stuff, then you need to, you know, verify that it was actually done. Well, this coach, you can verify everything that's ever been done to it. It's extensive. Yeah, now Jeff, you guys do remodel work. You guys do a lot at East Tennessee Luxury Coach. What do you specialize in? We do everything. Uh, we do a lot of uh, updates, programming, uh, you know, iPad conversions on, on any of the conversions that out there and our our cabinet shop is excellent we don't really specialize in one thing uh we do everything anything prevo related anything prevo related and and anything um chassis related as well not just the converter side yes sir gotta be honest there's one thing that's just bugging the heck out of me out of the, in this coach when we're driving it 
there's that chandelier back there. Um, is that something that if someone wanted to get that chandelier replaced or changed out, is that something you guys could do at East Tennessee Luxury Coach? Yes, not a problem. And uh, we can do any any kind of modifications or as someone uses the coach, then everybody likes things differently. And so that's where we suggest people buy a coach, use it, and then three or six months down the road, that's when you make the changes because you've had time to use the coach and know what you really like and don't like. Um, this is also a bus air coach um, as well. What's the story on this coach? Uh, it originally was a George Jones coach and um, then that's where the record started. And uh, from there, one of my customers had it and uh, used it and it's just their time to get out of the motor homing and um, they've like I say, maintained it very, very, very well. What kind of engine brake does it have? Uh, this has got the trans retarder yeah. uh, versus the Jake brake, um, which I like because they're very, very effective. Um, and how many miles are on this coach? 240,000. Just getting broken in, like Jeff said. And Doug, you want to walk everybody to the back yeah, of the buddy. coach there? I'll and... be useful inside somehow today. <laughs> this coach is super quiet, guys. Uh, very, very quiet. Uh, excellent running coach. As we talked about in the other video, I mean, this coach is just, it's a really, really solid, solid run. I love the bedroom in here. And with this slide out, you're going to have ample room. I love the open window here on this side. Uh, again, we're do we're on the high we're, we're on the highway doing 50 60 miles an hour here, and this coach is just really quiet, smooth. You can get up, walk around, and feel comfortable. I'll hand it back over to the right. Andrew Steele here, yes, sir. How uh, how was the ride back there? Super quiet, Andrew. You've maintained a lot of coaches, and you're definitely one of the top sources in the country for Prevo maintenance. Oh, what advice would you have for someone that's gonna buy a Prevo as far as what they should look look to do in maintenance? Uh, obviously the tires are the biggest safety factor. Uh, second to that would be airbags because both of those would leave you uh, alongside the road. Um, and, and either one of them can cause significant body damage and on older coaches, then it starts getting into close to being a total sometimes just because of a tire blowout. Really? Wow. Um, then it's just a matter of, uh, once again, going through the history of it and verifying uh, what services have been done. Engine coolant on both the generator uh, and the main engine are important to be changed out. Um, Northern valves, brake chambers is things that we start looking at after that. You've seen it all. You've been taking care of these coaches for a long time. Is there any mistakes that you see people making that maybe uh, viewers that are future Prevo owners can avoid? Um, sometimes it's just not knowing what you're getting and or relying on someone else to um, look at coaches and so forth. Uh, although that can be a, a tool in buying a coach, you yourself need to come and sit in it, ride in it, spend a day or a half a day at least in it pushing buttons so that you start learning the coach and can see for yourself what works and doesn't work. Uh, and, and some of it might be just operator error because you don't know yet, but uh, that's how you learn. Yes, sir. And is there any advice that you might have for someone that's thinking about purchasing a Prevo motorhome or a fiberglass motorhome? Uh, once again, Prevo is um, the safest vehicle out there in, in this uh, motorhome world. Uh, they've got the most extensive uh, service center uh, established throughout the country for the chassis. And although we really don't need it that frequently in our motorhome world, it's available to you uh, to keep you going. Pulling back into East Tennessee Luxury Coach here. 
weather's getting nice up here in Tennessee. So if you are coming north from Florida and you own a Prevo, you need to get some service work done. Jeff, you uh, how far out do you guys stay booked out on work? It depends on the work. Um, two weeks, three weeks, something like that, unless it's an emergency or um, just mechanicals, uh, oil changes or tires or something like that. We're usually able to get you in within a week or so. And if someone does want to get set up for service, should they just give you a call at East Tennessee Luxury Coach and go from there? Or? Right, right. And they'll get you set up with an appointment and um, get your list and, and your coach information. You specialize in anything Prevo? Anything Prevo. Jeff, really appreciate you sharing your wisdom with myself and the folks out on YouTube. Now, if someone's a serious buyer and they want to purchase this coach, who should they get a hold of? Everything's uh, contacted and goes through Doug Sewell. Give him a call and uh, he will set it up, make sure um, that it's available to show and we're ready for it to be shown uh, in person. Jeff, greatly appreciate you. Also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks. I recently filmed this Prevo feather light behind me and we made a big mistake. The mistake was we had Doug Sewell show the coach. <laughs>